Okay, so we are here talking with one of our Aaron's House families. This is Lavette and Amaya. Hi. Uh, you guys just want to say hi to everyone? Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> um, my first question is going to be for Lavette. Um, I was just wondering if you could share a little bit about what brought you and Amaya to Aaron's house and just briefly some of your experience that you had during your time at Aaron's house before we had to do this whole social distancing and had to pause our program. Sure. Um, so Amaya started Aaron's house in November of 2019. Um, her dad passed in uh, September 2019. And I heard from a family member because we are, um, we're kind of new to Fort Wayne. I mean, we've been here a few years, but I heard from a few family members um, that uh, Fort Wayne has this place where children can go to, you know, that are grieving. And so they gave me the name of the place and I got on um, Google and emailed you guys and went from there. And ever since Amaya's been going, she's, she goes to F night. And ever since she's been going, she loves it. Um, she told me her favorite was the volcano room. I know she loved it right away. <laughs> but um, she also likes to do crafts, um, anything that has to do with her dad. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, so one of the ways that we started um, supplementing our program so that we can continue supporting our families is our first ever stay-at-home Aaron's House Family Night, which included um, a Pizza Hut pizza, and then we also sent a Healing Heart activity um, for the families to do together. Um, and so that activity was a family memory plaque. Um, and so I think you guys have already worked on that. I don't know if you just want to hold it up and just show what the plaque looks like quickly. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's really that's very detailed that looks great um so the Thank purpose you. of Thank the plaque um is just to talk about the memories we have of our person um memories are just a very treasured possession that some of them you don't want to forget um so this plaque was just a place where families could talk about those memories and create a collage of their person um so that they can display it and then they um, hopefully don't forget some of those treasured memories um, so, Amaya, I don't know if you'd be open to sharing um, one or two of the favorite memories of your dad that you included. Um, I know that you really like being crafty and artsy, so I can't wait to see what you put on your plaque. Okay, share with them. She said two things if you want. Okay, so um, I put for this one um, that the car we were driving in with my dad and and I went with my sister and my grandpa and my grandma because they were taking us to the airport. And then we go on the plane to go to Texas. And then the next one is when we got there, we, um, we me and my sister put our um, clothes on the shelf because we were staying a lot of days. And then we got our swimsuit on to go out in the backyard and go swimming. And then we would always eat tacos all the time there. And then um, the next one is in 2018, um, I had a father-daughter dance. And um, so he came to come with me there. And then the next one was that it was my birthday and I used to live in Colorado and he came down to see me and say happy birthday to me. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, she's, uh, he's come to visit quite a bit. Um, we are all originally from Lima, Ohio. Um, I got married and um, moved away. And um, so he came to visit Colorado. And then uh, we moved to Fort Wayne. And uh, uh, so, yeah. That's why all those places. So she went to visit him in Texas because he moved there. So it's a lot of bit of uh, states you're hearing. But yeah, so definitely Amaya has a lot of memories uh, with him. And we definitely miss him. But uh, we try to hold on to the good times. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I just wonder, Amaya, um, why 
Why are these your favorite memories or how does it make you feel when you think about these specific memories? Um, because these memories stay in my head and most of them I forget about them and then it takes me a long time to remember them. And so I remember the one going to Texas and in the father daughter dance and I remember the birthday one. They uh -huh. make me feel happy because those are the ones that I remember and that I can keep in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those sound like very sweet memories. And that's neat that you'll have that plaque now that you can put up in your bedroom or wherever you can look at it every day and um, remember those special memories of you and your dad. Um, and so I have one last question for you too. Um, you can answer it however you feel. Um, but what are you most looking forward to now that we're slowly going back to normal? Um, maybe it's just seeing your friends again um, or going out to a restaurant. Uh, it could be coming back to Aaron's house. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. <laughs> um, for me, um, gosh, I have so many. I'll try to dumb it down. <laughs> I cannot wait to get back in the restaurant. I'm not going to lie. However, this time just spending it at home um, has been a blessing because we got to spend it, I got to spend it with my children instead of being at work and uh, mm -hmm. actually got to be a elementary and middle school teacher to them. But I'm going to say <laughs> I will stick with pre-K, but I can't <laughs> wait to get back to the uh, restaurants and um, I won't speak for Amaya, but I know, I do know one thing they're ready to go to is uh, Great Wolf Water Park and of course, we're ready to come back to Erin's house. She's ready to go to that volcano room. So, yes. <laughs> but go ahead, Amaya. What are you ready for? Um, I want to go see. I want to see my friends, and I want to go back to school. Mm -hmm. And I do want to go back to Erin's house. And um, I want to go in food restaurants again. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all look forward to those things, especially the restaurants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but it's definitely uh, taught us to slow down and just to have gratitude for those small things in life. Um, so that's definitely something to take forward with us. Um, and so I just want to thank you both uh, for taking the time to do this for us, um, for opening up and sharing to everyone at Aaron's house. Um, what you're going through during this time. Um, and I just know I speak for all of us at Aaron's house that we really look forward to being able to see all of you in person again. Yeah. Yes, of course. You're so welcome. Can't wait to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for joining in. We look no forward problem. to talking to you soon. No problem. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.